that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. Hey guys, I'm Josh and in today's video we're going to be reviewing this 34 inch ultra wide monitor from LG. This is the USB-C enabled monitor. If you do find value out of this video, if you could please leave a like on the video. It really helps a small channel like mine grow. And if you are new to my channel, uh, consider subscribing. I do make computer science, technology, and kind of lot college lifestyle videos. And you know, just trying to grow the channel, so I do appreciate it. Subscribe. I will have timestamps linked down below as well as in the description if you do want to skip ahead to a certain portion. Yeah, so I mean, let's move on into the review. Um, for a quick specs, maybe I'll just throw some up on the screen over here. 1344 by 1440p resolution. It has about 300 to 350 nits of peak brightness. The stand itself, you can height adjust and you can tilt, but you cannot pivot or swivel. Um, so if you were planning on swiveling or, you know, swiveling this monitor, uh, you may need to purchase a monitor arm. I don't know how much of a deal, I don't know how much of a big deal that is. I never really swivel it. So, you know, for me at least, this is pretty good. Also, the monitor does not come with speakers. So if you are a headphone user or use Bluetooth speakers or something like that, you know, you'll be perfectly fine, but this does not have built-in speakers with this model. One more thing is that this monitor provides data as well as power uh, through USB-C, of course. So if you're purchasing this monitor, you most likely have some sort of, let's say MacBook, or you have like a Dell or Lenovo. It provides 60 watts of power. So if you do have, let's say a 16 inch MacBook Pro and it needs like 80 or 90 watts, still will work for sure. It will not be as quick to charge. It won't hurt the computer in any way. If you are maybe using the CPU or like you're using the computer very heavily, you might notice a bit of battery drain, but once, you know, let's say a video has rendered and you're back to kind of like idle thing, then it should go back up. It does not damage it. You, you will be perfectly fine using this monitor. I do have my microphone hooked up at the moment. So as you can see, there's no other USB ports going to my MacBook. But if we open up our settings over here we can see that my usb microphone is connected and i'm selected with this and just snapping you see it go up in place so it, the monitor does act as a usb pass through and one of the main reasons that i got this was for programming um, I'm an intern as well as a computer science student, so I'm dealing with a lot of code a lot always. So I thought that this would be great. If you just wanted to have one display to have all of your code showing, this is it. So I'm using Visual Studio Code or VS Code. I can have three groups open comfortably. Um, of course, if it is a bit longer, you know, you might have to scroll, of course, but you know, I'd recommend probably just doing two, so getting rid of this. And as you can see, having two open is perfect. And something like this, you can play with the sizing of course, but having every developer's best friend, Google or Stack Overflow or, you know, any reference material that you're looking at, as well as having your, you know, at least two groups of code going or just one really big one, you're gonna have no issues whatsoever. And also since people wanted to know about coding in particular, especially in VS Code, text, I'm getting very close up again. This is focusing a little bit better, but you know, my focus isn't the best. Nothing is still blown out. You cannot see the pixels, even with this type of stuff. Again, not 4K quality, but you are not going to notice or, you know, have a bad time with this at all. Ports, it does have two USB ports on the back. Uh, one thing to note about this is that if the USB-C cord is not plugged into something, like let's say your laptop, those ports will not work. So if you have your laptop plugged in and then you wanna have peripherals or like something charging, then it would work perfectly fine. But if you were to unplug that USB-C cord from the monitor or from the laptop to the monitor, then the USB ports wouldn't work, which is kind of weird, but I guess that's kind of how it does it. And also the USB ports kind of act as a USB hub. Um, what I've done is I have a little USB hub that I plug into one of them and I'm just planning on to Velcro it onto my monitor back. And that'll give me a couple more USB ports, USB 3.0. 
other ports on the back, it does come with a display port as well as an HDMI, as well as a headphone jack so you can plug in your speakers directly into there or headphones or you know if you had Bluetooth even better. And again, if I forgot to mention, the monitor is a 1600R curve. And here's kind of a top down view of the curve. I think it's just perfect for if you just want one monitor or maybe it's even off the side and you have two monitors like this. It adds for a perfect curve, you know. Viewing angles on this as well is very good that I've noticed. Of course, since it does have a curve, if you are kind of like where I am right now, it's a little bit difficult to see. But once you get a little bit closer, or you know, just a little bit closer, viewing angles are not bad at all. This is an IPS display, and it is also an anti-glare screen. So if you are sitting in front of a light, let's say, or you know, you're in front of a window or something like that, um, having this kind of matte finish is always nice. And one more thing I wanted to show, if you are getting this monitor for gaming, so this is a 60 hertz monitor. I've seen some people be able to overclock it to 75. Um, I have a Mac, so I don't know if I could really do that or test that out at all. But you know, if you do have a PC and you get this, try it out maybe. But I just wanna show you, kind of zoom in over here. You get the typical 60 hertz monitor or 60 hertz refresh rate. I'm doing this UFO test. You can see it isn't like the most crystal clear, of course, you know, having a 144 is definitely going to be better for gaming. But if you're doing some light gaming, let's say you play like League and Minecraft and stuff like that, you don't really care all that much about having a high refresh rate. You really care more about productivity and you kind of just game kind of on the side. I still think this is very viable because if you are used to gaming on a laptop screen, let's say the MacBook Pro, this is a 60 hertz panel. Um, so if you're used to that, you're gonna have no problem gaming on this. So as you can see here, I have two windows pretty much taking up the entire screen. And there we go. Even with having three screens pulled up, I know that this one's a little bit smaller, but I wanted to keep like these two. Maybe you're working on something that you need a little bit bigger and then you're just referencing something. Yeah, you know, anything can be kind of flipped around over here, but very comfortably, like I can read this perfectly fine read this perfectly fine, and then also just read this perfectly fine. And for all of you content creators wanting to get this monitor for its ultra wide, of course, this is about a six minute to seven minute video right here. And I can have two displays open right over there. You can have the whole timeline showing pretty much. And this is DaVinci Resolve. So if you wanted to do color grading and that kind of stuff in the Fusion tab, you get a whole lot of real estate when it comes to this stuff. And do I recommend this monitor? So I've been using this monitor kind of on and off for about probably a month now, but for the times that I have been using it for video editing, for, you know, watching movies and stuff like that, highly recommend for sure. I purchased this monitor for around $510 from Amazon, and this was about a month ago, right after they restocked. It was out of stock for a little bit. And right now I think it's listed for 540 or something like that. If you guys can pick this monitor up for around that range, the like 500 to $550, I'd highly recommend this thing. So guys, to kind of wrap up my review on this LG 34 inch ultra wide curved monitor, you know, I highly recommend it. You know, based off of Amazon reviews in this video, maybe you can come to a conclusion yourself, but I do highly recommend this monitor. I'll put up the Amazon listing right now. I think it has like a four point something, almost five star review on there. So, so other people do have good experiences with this monitor as well. I'll leave an Amazon link in the description if you guys want to go check it out. Please leave a like and consider subscribing as well. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys later.